Hi there. In this video, I will going to cover some of the box plot, box plot chart features uh, and uh, basically show you how you can create the box plot directly from data frame. So in this video, I will cover most of the basics and I have the second video in which I will go a little bit in depth to, you know, look at how you can get the real interpretations back from the box plot chart. All right. So let's go ahead and first of all, see how you can plot it using the data set. So first of all, I will going to import pandas library. I will import the matplotlib.pyplot as plt as usual. And to plot the chart in line, I will use percentage matplotlib in line. All right, in line. So here we are uh, with these three commands. Now let's go ahead and get the data set. So this is the data set we have been using, orders data set from the superstore sales file and uh, we are fetching the first sheet and let's go ahead and get it, okay. Now to plot a box plot, you need a numeric column. So let's go ahead and see the orders dot columns. And here we are with row order ID, order date, order priority again not a numeric one but order quantity is is uh, basically something which is numeric sales is for sure numeric discount is numeric profit is numeric same as unit price shipping cost so these all looks like all the numeric columns so to plot the uh, box plot what I, what I can use is plt dot box plot and then specify the column name orders dots let's say first of all um, I want uh, sales and if I press shift enter here I have with the orders data so this is basically uh, I would say uh, you know very skewed you know uh, the data over here because there are a lot of outliers the the boundaries of a box plot are really squeezed so let me try and show you the different one maybe discount for example yeah so it it shows a good representation at least for this example uh, to give get you an idea about uh, how, how you should really see and uh, know about the box plot so what it is is basically you know showing you the this is basically a median line where you can see average discount is somewhere around five uh, percent for all of the products across the company that you can say and here are some of the outliers and uh, then you know you have the upper boundary so this is basically represents the 75 so this is what they say is intercultile range and this is the upper and lower boundaries and there are certain data points which are even going beyond the upper and lower boundaries and we call them outliers so this is very helpful in those cases also where you want to know about the outliers or you want to do some analysis and uh, for your to move ahead with your analysis you really need to know what the outliers are because they drastically change the expected result and uh, you are kind of not expecting this so for example you are in an organization like this uh, where sales are happening and you got that one very very you know big customer who is purchasing product worth let's say 1 million however your average sales is somewhere around uh, $100,000 uh, in a month so think about this how much your uh, data will be skewed because where is your $1,000 uh, $100,000 and one is on the other hand you have one million dollar so that will show that uh, in rest of the quarters or in rest of the months your company is really performing poor and in just one month it has you know exceeded all of these uh, expectations of the management but that's not right right you need to remove that particular data set or, or the value uh, from the data set and then do the analysis because that's an outlier everybody is aware about it Okay, so that's that's quickly about uh, the outlier analysis that you can do with the help of uh, for the box plot. But like I showed, I just changed the variable over here and that's a very, very simple representation. If I want, I can say even profit. So profit is also, as you can see, there are a lot of outliers and uh, 
you know the boundaries are really less they are squeezed up so you can have this kind of data set they sometimes you know exhibit a lot of good information when you further you know interrogate it let's say by different dimensions and that's what i will going to cover in the next video so maybe for example across the company this this looks really really you know squeezed up data from the box plot perspective but when you divide this data into dimension let's say shipping mode maybe let's say product category you know you will get to know more about your data set that why uh, it happens in which particular category and that's what your entire data analysis is so that's the column another column we have is order quantity so whenever you have space what you can do is you can just specify these uh, brackets and uh, within that specify order quantity okay so here we have the order quantity and as you can see it's it's a very nice there are no outliers this is very well distributed uh, you can see 75 percent of the values are coming anywhere between 10 to 40 and the rest of the others are basically coming until the 50 as a quantity and starting with somewhere around two or three so on an average you can see you are selling somewhere around 27 or 28 is is your median now along with the median you will always want to see what is my mean value so if you are not aware what is the difference between mean and median you know i will just suggest do a google and figure it out so what i will say is uh, so here is a mean line i would just say mean line and if i press shift tab tab it will show you all of the you know parameters that we can so for example i am showing you the mean line and uh, oops uh we get it back so mean line is here mean line is none so let's go ahead and change it to true and let's see it okay i think the mean line and median line is coming overlapping each other and that's why you are probably not able to see it but there is another property which is uh, show means and now as you can see it is showing you an indication so our so my uh, understanding was right you know it, it's mean is was equal to median and that's what that's why it was not showing you the mean line but here in this case you can clearly see where your mean is it's right there on the median line so that's one thing um the next thing is changing the way about how it has been shown over here so right now it is vertical and we have this property vert is equals to by default it is true and if I change it to false you will get the horizontal one and that's very useful in some cases where you know your data in is, is in such a way that you want to plot it like this the horizontal the one plot the second the third the fourth and the fifth and then you want to do the comparison because sometimes for your eyes uh, that you know gives you the better interpretation better understanding of the data so if you want that you can change it to false okay um what i'll do is i'll just copy this and move it to next so that i am not making it as a very very busy one so i am pretty much done with this and uh, i'll just come to um, discount okay so here we have uh, again back to discount and a couple of things like uh, for this zero zero sometimes you have a that's a requirement that you want to change this uh, zero to something else so what you can do is maybe let's say you want to indicate uh, plus signs so C is basically cyan and if I am all right let me say S Y M is equals to yeah now it is fine so you can actually look into the documentation about all the different symbols this is c again you can have b also that will basically the blue one so wherever you know it is making sense for you you can simply change it as per the way you need it there is another very interesting way to see the confidence interval of, of your median so what you do is there is a property if i press shift tab tab and this is notch so if i say notch is equals to one which is a second parameter in this case so here you will say the diagram has changed and 
though you are not may not be able to see it completely but what it does it has done is plotted the confidence interval so if you are really interesting in the uh, confidence interval related analysis you can specify this notch parameter as one so if i again show you this is the first parameter this is the second parameter by default it is none but you can change it to one if you change it to zero it will not show you the notch or the confidence interval uh, separation that is related to the median last but not the least uh, that if you want to remove uh, all of these outliers some in in some of the cases like profit you had seen or in the sales you had seen there were so many outliers so sometimes you just want to remove it just for the sake of you really want to understand what is going on with my main data so here if i press shift tap tap again so this is x arch and uh, then there is a, a parameter that you can specify uh, that will actually going to remove the outliers as well oops and that is nothing but your symbol so if your symbol let's say you are saying none if you're removing this you will remove your outliers in that case and you are clearly able to see uh, where how is your discounting or how is uh, your discount is on the normal data as compared to your you know uh, without your outliers if you want to come go back with the outliers red plus so here you are with the red plus so that's how uh, you know you can really do the pattern analysis remove the outliers and see look at your entire data so that's pretty much all i have for you in this video the basics because it's important to understand how these different things works in tandem and in the next video i will further grill the data uh, to show you the box plots by different dimensions and uh, with some more parameters that make sense for the data analysis so that's pretty much all i have and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic